We have moved on to page 28 in our level three packet, and we're gonna continue talking about ratio tables, equations, and now we're gonna add in ordered pairs as well, or making a graph with this information. Values in ratio tables can also be written as ordered pairs. So right here, we need to put ordered pairs. Once again, we're looking at information. Um, last time when we were working on ratio tables, this right here said ratio, but now it actually says ordered pairs. Let's go on and look at number three. A recipe for oatmeal raisin cookies requires two eggs for every one dozen cookies. Let's remember that we have our x-axis here, our y-axis here, and then remember our process is how we get from one to the other, okay? Um, here, it's already given us, so if we have two eggs, we have a dozen cookies. And I need to think, what do I have to do to my two to get to one? Well, there's two things that we can think of. We could say we could divide by two. But if we remember from our um, decimal unit and fraction unit, if we dividing by two is the same thing as multiplying by a half or five tenths. So I think that's the way we need to write it this time. So our process is going to be we take two times five tenths or a half. And with our ordered pairs, we're going to write them two to one, just like that. Let's keep going. If we have four, our process is to multiply by half and we get two. Six processes to multiply by half, and we get three. Eight multiply by half, and we get four. And ten multiply by half, and we get five. Now let's write our ordered pairs. We have four to two. We have six to three, we have eight to four, and last we have 10 to five. And those are our ordered pairs for our graph that's going to be right over here to the right. Now with a graph, remember we have to have labels for our axis and we also have to have a title. So our title, we're talking about Oatmeal Raisin Cookies. We're talking about the recipe for it. So I think we should probably name our graph Oatmeal Raisin Cookie Recipe. So Oatmeal Raisin Cookie Recipe. Because that's what we're talking about. And then we need to label our x-axis and our y-axis. And I'm gonna keep with the colors that I was using. So our x-axis corresponds to the number of eggs. Number of eggs. And I can go ahead and I'm gonna say, well, this is obviously zero right here. This is two, four, six, eight, 10, that's the number of eggs. And if we look at our Y axis, we have uh, the dozens of cookies. All right, so I'm gonna turn my computer. Dozens of cookies. All right, and we can look, we have zero, one, I'm gonna just count by twos, two, Four, not really counting by twos, I'm just gonna write the, oops, not five. Six, eight, ten. And now I can plot my ordered pairs. If I look, I have two and one. So I go over two 
and then I go up one, and here's where my first ordered pair goes, my first dot. Then I have over four, up two, over six, up three, over eight, up four, and then over 10, up five. And this shows my ratios. And obviously, if I wanted to, I could say, well, if I have zero eggs, I'm gonna have zero dozens of cookies. And then one more of my dots would go right there. We do not draw a line through it. We're not, we're not making a line graph. We're just showing the relationship between the eggs and the dozens of cookies created. Now, let's look down here. Let's write the equation. Let's look. I am, I have my variables, E and C. So if I look at my process, my process is multiplying by a half. So I'm going to take the number of eggs. So I'm gonna just say eggs times a half gives me the dozens of cookies. Remember another way we could write this? We could actually write it with a fraction. The dozens of cookies equals one half times E. There's a few different ways that we can write that, but we're gonna just leave it at that for today. One more, a cell phone company charges Joey $45 per month. Okay, so if you'll notice, they did not fill in one of our uh, variables. We have our X here, and we have our Y here. And for months, we can just say one. If he has it for two months, three months, four months, five months. And then we know the process. Remember the process is getting from here to here. And let's see, after one month, that he gets charged $45 per month. So with one month, the total charge is going to be $45. So I need to think, how did I go from one to 45? Well, I multiplied by 45. And if that's my process, my process is multiplying by 45, then that's what I have to do on each one. Two times 45, three times 45, four times 45, and five times 45. And then it will give us 90, 135, $180, and 225. Remember to write our ordered pairs. We take our X, which is one, two, three, four, five. Let me put my commas in. And then we put our Y. 45, 90, 135, 180, and 225. And I have my ordered pairs. Before we go to make our graph, let's go ahead and write the equation. Instead of using x, I'm going to use the variable m, and instead of using y, I'm going to use the variable t. My process is the months times 45, the number of months times 45 gives me the total amount of money. Remember, we can write it like that, or we can put the total equals 45 m okay let's make our graph let's see what are we talking about cell phone company charges so we could say cell phone charges cell phone charges okay we have our x-axis and if we look back over here our x-axis is the number of months number of months and I'm counting by ones so one I can get that to write one two three four five well that seems really close together so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna skip a line between each of them I'm going to go one right here two three four five just to give us some more room then I'm looking at my y-axis, and my y-axis is the total 
uh, cost or the total amount. Total cost. And looking at that, I'm going to count by $25. So I'm going to have 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, 250. And now I can start plotting my points. So my first ordered pair is one. So I go over one and up 45. And I don't have a spot right at 45, but I can get pretty close. So I'm gonna just say it's right about there. Two and 90. So right about there. Three and 135. Right about here. Four and 180. And then five and 225. So, and obviously, if I have my phone for zero months, I will pay zero dollars. You are going to now look at page 29. This is going to be, um, this is going to need to be checked and highlighted. If you have something wrong, please correct it.